Why will Everton's new stadium be better than Tottenham's new stadium? Tottenham's new stadium is visually impressive, but many football fans are asking why so many stadium architects are suggesting that Everton's new stadium will be significantly better for football purposes. The general consensus is that Spurs' cost-spiralling, bowl-shaped stadium was built with a big influence from Tottenham's money man, Daniel Levy, who said, and I quote, wanted an American-type stadium with diversified revenue streams. And his long-term partnership, the NFL, will see a minimum of two American football games played at the stadium each season for the next 10 years. This has faced much criticism. Spurs clearly have a big focus on concerts with a retractable pitch, and the venue has been criticised for focusing on high-end corporate clientele instead of the working-class football fan. These sorts of sacrifices make the concept and build a polar opposite to Everton's new stadium, which is deeply rooted on becoming a truly unique, groundbreaking, purpose-built modern football ground on a world-famous Dockland, and it is completely different in design. Everton don't want a soulless bowl. Many clubs have suffered from leaving their intimate spiritual homes, which they have been made famous for for generations, into large, new, shiny buildings where it's difficult to harness that soul and spirit. And that's not relating to size or capacity. Ask any neutral football fan which stadium has the better atmosphere, and they would say Crystal Palace over Anfield, Goodison Park over St James's Park. Everton sell more season tickets than Liverpool FC and Chelsea and have a long waiting list of passionate fans desperate to somehow get a seat at Bramley Moor, but they do not want to sacrifice atmosphere and proximity just to pack more seats in. They want that intimate, intense advantage which the Everton fans can supply like no other. It's important that the stadium fits in with such an iconic waterfront, with the history of Liverpool docks and what that means to the city. The Everton stadium designers are aimed to deliver on their blueprint of a stadium to feel like it grew off the docks and it will really belong on that skyline. Even going so far as rebuilding and maintaining surrounding list of buildings using the same bricks and materials and doing everything to avoid it looking like a spaceship that could be dropped anywhere. Unlike Tottenham Stadium, dropped slap bang in the middle of North London, Everton's new stadium will be placed on the aesthetically pleasing historic waterfront which allows for access to the stadium via yachts, ships and riverboat taxis. Stadium designer Dan Meese is very conscious of not building a soulless bowl and wants a proper four-sided traditional stadium, but he's also delved deep into the scientific dimensions and the importance of the size and steepness of the stands. As shown in stadiums such as Borussia Dortmund's Yellow Wall, you can clearly see in the early building of its structure as the stands take shape that Everton stands will be steeper than Dortmund's. In fact, Everton will have the steepest stands of any stadium in Welsh football and will also have fans closer to the pitch than any other. The idea, of course, is to put fans on top of the action to create an intimidating environment. Much like the bear pit reputation Goodison Park has earned over the years, this will provide deafening crowd acoustics, four walls of noise, and an intense atmosphere unrivaled by any other stadium. This design and concept will blow any other football ground out the water, or the Mersey in this case, especially those of the corporate bowl spaceship type. Everton's passionate fan base will soon have a new, unique work of art to call home.